Everybody, Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and welcome to the Aragon Ballroom here in Chicago, Illinois, for our main event of the evening. 12 rounds of welterweight action. A lot of talk heading into tonight's matchup. Everybody expecting this to be a great night of action. dressing room. Let's have a good clean fight. Touch them up. Number one we talk about. They're scheduled for 12. Here's round number one. Now he ties up there. Hitting his mark there, going upstairs. Crashes <laughs> home with the uppercut. Hugging on the inside. Halfway through this round here. There you go. There you go. Good smooth work by Ramirez. That's classic counter punching. Yeah, what he did was he pulled that right shoulder back. You know, he just pulled it back, gave him the left shoulder, and then gave him the right hand. Able to land another power shot early on here, Teddy. Does he have to worry about trying to keep up this pace? No, I don't think so. If he keeps at this pace, he's not going to be around to worry. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Final 10 seconds of round number one. He missed with that headshot. This round comes to an end. And Teddy, easy to note here that he wasn't landing a lot of punches. Now he was throwing them up, but he wasn't landing a lot. Is that because of his opponent's defense, or is he just not that accurate of a puncher? No, it's a combination. First of all, his opponent's pretty slick in there, pretty good at bobbing, weaving a little bit, slipping a little bit making himself a difficult target, but his punch is a little wide. Needs to shorten him up. He's winning. You gotta take it to him in this round. You gotta bring it. The left hook is working good. You just take it to him. Apply some pressure. You understand what I'm saying? Here we go. Round two is underway. Solid left hand. I need to 
see some head movement. More head movement. Watch that punch. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. One, two, one, two. Gets rid of that effort. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Both fighters told us that they want to have a similar approach early on here. They want to show a lot of varied attacks. Well, that gives them a better opportunity to be effective throughout the night. <laughs> Scored well upstairs with the right hand. Shake it off. Scores with the uppercut. Comes right back with some offense of his own. Ramirez has got a way of just getting away from that punch. You can almost see it just by the way a fighter sits down on their stool at the end of a round. As we come to the end of this round, you can tell that he's full of confidence and he can't wait to get right back out there and continue doing what he's doing. Well, you're right. The first thing that I notice is his back's not leaning against the corner pad. You know, that's a defeated fighter. That's a fighter. He don't want to go back. Something bad happened to him. You know, he's leaning back like that. You have to pick him up from the stool. He's got all his weight forward. He can't wait to get going. You know that he's positive. You know that he had a good round. Number three is underway. Oh. Not able to connect with the uppercut. Good defense, just covering up down low. He had his eyes set on the uppercut, but was unable to land it. <laughs> Snapping hook by Ramirez. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Blocks that belt line well. Oh, things opened up, and he was able to place the right hand well. Trying to go downstairs, but off target. Halfway through this round. Fires right back at him. <laughs> oh, 
off to the side. A little swing and a miss going upstairs. Ramirez is doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You gotta block those punches away. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. to go in this third round. Great movement to get away from those punches. And round three comes to an end. Keep him in front, okay? Don't let him move around too much. Cut the ring off, then get off. And set the power shot up with your chair. You won that round, all right? How you doing? You okay? Now I need to use your feet. Move around the ring, you got that? Okay, now let's go. Move around the ring, you got that? Okay, now let's go. Ramirez is out in front as we take a look at Teddy's scorecard for the first time tonight, but they're still in a mode of just feeling each other out. Neither man has taken control of this bout so far. Big right hand. All you. Lay it off. Right to the body. Nice work, nice work. Right, left and right. Come on, baby. He just missed that shot up top. What a damaging blow. Nice hook upstairs. Don't let him get at you. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. A well-timed right hand by Ramirez. Get in there. Jump on him. Nice. Come on, punch. punch. Good shot punch. there That's with that it. left. Able to show you his blocking ability. Halfway through round number four. Blocks it away. Come on, kid, focus now. I need you to focus for me. Able to cover up that gut. That is a big right hand after eating one himself. A lot of people may think he's putting forth a good effort just by throwing punches, but his corner would disagree. He is not being effective. No, not at all. And why? Why is he not being effective? Because he's not thinking about what he's doing. He's just chucking punches. He's not really putting any intellect behind it. Look at the way he has to throw them instead of just throwing them. Fourth round now with his last 10 seconds. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Big, big shot he just scored with. Late goings here of this round and he goes down. Can he survive it? One, two, three, four, five. 
Can right you there. believe that? If there were 30 more seconds of that round, I don't know that he survived. But now he gets the benefit of the 60-second break. Yeah, he gets the benefit, and he's got to show his experience now to kind of have a short memory. I know that sounds crazy, but forget about what happened and find a way to have confidence. Find something to hold on to going out for the Take next your round. Time out there. Take your time. Take the pressure up. Don't follow him. Put the ring on, right? Considering the fact that in the last round, he got tagged hard, he looks great right now to open up this round. Well, I'm not shocked because I think he has character. I think there's substance to him. And the only way that you find the medal of a person is when you test them, when you push them up against the cliff. And he's being tested now, and he's showing what he's made of. Well off the mark by Ramirez. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counterpuncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. You're still not moving enough. Come on now, move, move. <sighs> Nothing there on the punch by Ramirez. Up top with the right hand. You're not focusing. You're not focusing. One, two. One, two. Good job, buddy. Hook. Hook. He wide open for the hook. Double up on your punches. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. Minute and a half to go. That's it, just like that. Nice Return work. to nice sender. Work. He gives him back one of his own. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Blocks that punch. Ramirez has been able to avoid having any of his opponent's headshots landing flush. And what his opponent has to do, Joe, is make an adjustment. What we used to tell the fighters, when a guy is elusive like this fighter is right now, you have to shorten your punches up. Shorten them up a little bit, have less space to travel. They have a better chance of getting to that elusive target. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Body that was shot, nice. He just shot. threw the punch from his opponent and then a good counter by Ramirez. Yeah, like running through the rain without getting wet. Beautiful. Nice. Last 10 seconds. Nice. This round comes to an end. A round in which this fighter threw a lot of punches, didn't land a lot of punches. I'll tell you, what advice can you give to him if you're the trainer? Well, first of all, deal with the psychological part. Joe, don't forget, 75% of this game is psychological. Don't let him get discouraged because even though he's not going to say nothing, in his head he's starting to get discouraged. Just say to him, hey, listen, you're going to catch him. Let's shorten him up a little bit. And you know what? He's moving his head, so go to the body because now you're going to hit him a little in the body because the body's not moving. Now, make him pay for his misses. The start of the sixth round. <laughs> Good return fire that time. Really frustrating his opponent now. Ramirez is so defensively sound, it doesn't make for an easy target. No, it doesn't, and it makes for a very frustrating night for his opponent. I see his opponent now, if you notice, he's getting a little tentative. He's afraid to let the punches go because when he misses, he's worried he's gonna leave an opening.
flinches when he gets to the inside. Keep moving. Keep moving. There you go. Come on, kid. Focus now. I need you to focus for me. Reaching the halfway point of round number six. Oh, and a big right hand lands. Focus. Teddy, explain this to me. Hey, this fighter was just staggered and stunned. Now all of a sudden he's defending beautifully. Yeah, because he's on instincts now. Before he was thinking, he was overthinking. That happens out in life in a lot of places. And now he's not. Now just naturally, instinctively, survival mode is there. He's doing all the things, Joe, that he was taught in the gym. Things he couldn't do before because he was worried about doing them. He had too many things clogging his head. Ramirez is employing one of the three facets of good fundamental defense. And right now he's using the legs. Yeah, he is. And that is one of the facets. The other is to block, the other is to move your head. And right now he's controlling range. What his opponent has to do now is look to get into a place where maybe he can time him. Time him as he steps out. Not what he was looking for. That's a miss right there by Ramirez. Jesus. Hey, that's okay. That's all right now. Pay him back. Go pay him back. Everybody, 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 kid. That's right. Body. Ten seconds remaining in this round. Do that again. That look good. Do that one more time. Okay, okay. Deep breath now. Deep breath. Relax. Relax. Are you alright? You need to just... Alright, I need you to sit down on your punches. Sit down on your punches, alright? When you get close, uppercut and hook. Get in and throw the uppercut and hook, the right? The That's what they're there for. Body, then hit. It has been completely one-sided so far tonight, and he's in control as we start this round. Much action as he just ties up. Well placed left hand there. Went to the body there, but unable to connect. He's all over the place. I mean, he's missing punches. Yeah, he's throwing punches, but he's missing just about everything he throws. Well, we look up top, you know, we look at the punches going away. They're going left, they're going right, they're going all over the place. But look downstairs. His feet are not set. He's falling all over the place. And guess what? The punches follow where his feet are. <laughs> Halfway through the seventh round. Ramirez is just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. Let him go. 
I don't like this at all, Teddy. I mean, it's one thing to stand toe-to-toe. -to -toe. It's another thing to never even move. You got to show some movement. Maybe he's breaking down. Maybe he's already spit the bit. You know, if he falls down, everybody in the world is going to know that he let himself fall down. He gave up. But there's different ways, different phases of giving in. And this might be one of those phases. And round seven comes to an end. Deep breaths. Deep breaths. And set. Now listen, I need you to keep working the body. When his hands drop, uppercut him. Okay? Throw that away. You gotta stand your ground, champ. Come on now. You gotta take it to him with some big shots without going over. Let's look at Teddy's scorecard as we start this eighth round. And I think this tells pretty much the story. Yeah, he's got a slight lead. However, there have been those moments where you see a defensive flaw. Yeah, the other guy's coming on fast. One, the defensive two, flaw one, is that he covers up too much. He blocks too many punches. And when you're blocking too many punches, while the guy puts punches together, some are going to get through. Some are getting through. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Ramirez is putting on a show here. Defensively putting on a show. And it's helping his offense because, you know, he's creating holes. He's creating opportunities. Holes that he's filling as he makes his opponent miss. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. A little something for his opponent after getting solid. About that, he goes from being the victim to handing out the punishment. One, two, three, four. Five. Ramirez is up from the knockdown, but what we really want to look for is how he reacts in the coming moments of this fight. Ramirez is coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. 90 seconds to go, halfway through round eight. That's what I want to see. Focus, focus. Good block by Ramirez. Missed the body shot. You're still not moving enough. Come on, now move. Move. Nice. Keep your head moving. Ramirez is knowledge of the he is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. He's having a much better round here. And bang and away he goes. He was able to get up and continue on last time. Now he goes down again. By the bell that's like something out of a movie here yeah except nobody's coming in there and saying cut you know he has to keep going here right now the only thing he knows is he's got flashbulbs going off in his head
Relax, relax. You're okay. You're okay. Keep your hands up. You can keep them up, all right? I mean, you know, he caught you with your hands down. Let's keep him up. Listen, he's gonna come forward this round, all right? Keep that jab moving. Keep him away from you, all right? Look at me. As we start a new round, Teddy, this seems basically hopeless for him. He's been knocked down numerous times tonight. Well, you never know. I mean, you go back to the 1980 Olympics, and of course, you have that great call. Do you believe in miracles? But only thing, nobody was punching that hockey team in the face. Didn't get it done going to the body there. Showing you some defense there with the block. Ramirez's punch is far off the target. Blocks the headshot. Uppercut! Ramirez's defense. Is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. Halfway through the ninth round. Ramirez is making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. Face yourself. I'm holding on. <laughs> Ramirez's movement helped out there. He avoided that punch. This round is in the books, and it looks like the gas tank on this fighter may be heading towards empty here. What is this, a case of guys just not putting in the road work and the conditioning prior to a fight? No, you got to figure he came in. His weight was good. Scales don't lie. We looked at the weight. He came in pretty good condition. I think what it is is now he's starting to get broken down a little bit, physically and mentally. The other guy is starting to impose himself on him. Don't give him nothing. Keep the punches coming. And we are back underway, another round in a fight that's been very entertaining, but I wouldn't want to be a judge. This is one of those fights that could go either way. Ramirez is proving to be elusive. Able to block that away, it was targeted for his head. You know, many times we talk about the fact that, hey, at least he's throwing punches, but that's all you can say in this case, because he's not landing many of these. No, they're being blocked or they're missing. They're definitely not landing clean, and you have to give credit to the other fighter being that good defensively. Too. Now, come on, let's go. 
Ramirez is showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. And we've reached the halfway point of round 10. He's taking too many punches. Hands up. And yet another big shot comes in. Oh, and he goes down again. The question is, can he rise up and continue on? So he goes down, but able to get up to his feet. Teddy, what should he be thinking about now? Well, right now, just surviving. But if he survives, then he better figure out why he was put on the floor. And he just holds on there. Hey, man, come on, now keep your feet. Ramirez is giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. Come on, come on. keep moving. Not an accurate hook at all. Counting down towards the end of the 10th round, 10 seconds to go. Keep your hands up. Don't worry now, I just need you to focus. Keep your hands up and keep working that jab, okay? Double up the jab and keep moving. You don't need that, no one. Throw that away. What are you waiting for? Hurt this guy. You're giving this fight away if you don't take a chance. Let you... Hard to believe we're in this position as we look at Teddy's scorecard to start round number 11. It was only a few rounds ago. It was a much bigger gap on your scorecard. Yeah, well, he understood. He came to terms with himself. He knew what he had to do. Now it's up to his opponent. Does he come to terms with himself? Does he start doing what he was doing early in the fight? Left and right, left and right. Unable to make an impact there by Ramirez. Well, Teddy, you get in a spot like this, and everybody has their eyes on the fighter who was just knocked down in the last round. What do you look for? What tells you right away that you know what his status is? Well, it's two things. The easiest one is the legs, Joe. I want to see if they're steady, if they're firm, if he's okay. But the next thing is his personality, believe it or not. It's kind of like when you go out to a bar with someone, they have a few drinks, and all of a sudden they're a different person. You know they're drunk. Well, I want to see whether or not my fight is drunk. Yeah, if he starts baby, rushing at the work. guy, he starts acting in a way that he's never acted before, I know it's time to pull the plug. Ramirez is showing you a little defensive skill there. I don't move away from that punch. Oh, hook. Hook. 90 seconds to go in this 11th round. He comes back with a right hand. <laughs> Ramirez is on the receiving end of a very good counter punch. <laughs> yeah. 
Nice block that time. It was intended relax, to the head. Relax. What about his opponent in a spot like this? I mean, here you got to your guy earlier. You did some damage. But now he's fighting with such a defensive style. It can be frustrating. Yeah, it can be. But you have to make the adjustment. You're going to deal with styles like this. This is part of your education, part of your development to go up that boxing ladder. Now you have to find a way to get to him while he's being defensive. Still use your jab. You know, close that gap. Put your punches together more and start banging that body a little bit extra. End of the round of what has been a very close and highly competitive fight. Teddy, how do you see this right now? I see it almost dead even. And I see whoever finishes the rounds, because in these kind of tight rounds, if you finish up good, the judges remember that. You need to go out there and score with some punches, all right? Now just land some punches, and we're going to win this one, baby. We're going to win it. Don't let him breathe. He's hurt. Get him in this round. Come on. You don't need that. No. Throw that away. Here it is, the final round of what has been a closely contested battle. Not able to land the headshot. Ramirez is well off the mark that time. Wow, is he defensively sound. And he engages in the clinch. That was a miss by Ramirez. Halfway through this 12th and final round. Move, move. <laughs> A good block. Well, you could see what he wanted to do there, but unable to land that body shot. Last dance, last chance. Last minute of the last round. Good work! <laughs> Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Blocks away that headshot. <laughs> Ramirez's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. <laughs> that was good stuff throughout. Which way did the judges lean? Let's send it up to the ring to find out. going to start celebrating a win now. Well, the fight went exactly the way that you would have thought going into this fight. A bit of a chess match, one-sided. Good, enjoyable, entertaining fight it was. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore saying thanks for being with us.